All right, I thought I'd jump on and make you a quick tutorial that'll totally blow your mind. So, um, let's see here. A rectangle or square marquee here. Shift F5 lets you fill it, or you can go to um, edit, fill, and then black. Okay, click back, or I guess we never left, but the uh, rectangular marquee again. Um, this is the way I was taught to do it, but there's probably other ways. So let's circle the black square and then go to edit, define brush preset, and then let's call it I like that doesn't look right. Let's just call it square, I guess. Okay, so the reason I needed a square brush was, let's go back over here, um, I wanted to get rid of the top part and um, without taking it back to the original and then crop it and whatnot. So I'm gonna, I put a layer mask on the Easter Bunny. So let's just make sure it's that label. I put a layer mask right here, which is the rectangle with a circle in it. I love layer masks. It's probably the most important thing in Facebook. If you ask any professional photographer, they would probably agree. Okay, so if we have a white um, layer mask, we're gonna get a black brush. So hit D and then X. That makes it black and white and then puts the black up top. Then we wanna make the size of the brush bigger than the image of the bunny. Click it once. God damn it, sorry, my, my opacity's down. Okay, so bleep, okay, try it again. Okay, so line it up, click it once, and it makes a nice flat edge. Um, most brushes are round, and so dragging around brush, you know, whose hand is that steady? Nobody's. Um, so I thought this would just be, um, there we go, now I can make it look better to put in the photo albums. Um, Anyway, also editing in the box pictures, uh, having a square brush is super awesome um, for uh, getting the boxes to be square and line up in the template. Okay, my son's talking to me, so I'm going to go. He's being weird, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.